I've been down this road before. Someone tries to teach me how to use words that can open doors, offering me tips in communication. Instead of saying apartheid, try a system of segregation. Downplay the Nakba and focus more on the occupation. And if you write a statement, make sure you start every paragraph with clear support for the two-state solution, and don't forget to end it with a Hamas condemnation. Words. I stand dispossessed. No Congress behind me. No statesmen surround me. No lobby to breathe hellfire. No media eager to appease. No three-ring circus of intellectual justice, academic clowns, and policy experts who truly do not see the big elephant in the tent. No legal acrobat stands for me on a thin rope of decency. No politicians juggle oppression and human rights on my behalf. No trips to boost careers for MPs and their wives. No propaganda movies. No radio broadcasts. No myths. No lies. No Hasbronites. No army. No country. Not even one leader to believe in. All I have are my words to tell my story. My voice to demand justice. And you're telling me my language is too strong. You, my friend, may perfect the skill of delusion, the talent of denial. You may express regret and lament and cry tears of indignation, and you may insist you're on my side, but without naming the crimes they commit, without naming ethnic cleansing and apartheid, your words ring hollow. So I will hold on to my words. I use them sparingly. I utter one word, and a house is resurrected from memory on a hill in Palestine. I utter another, and I am in a courtyard under a sycamore tree, and another, and the scent of jasmine fills the air. Words lift me up from despair and take me home. Words disarm tyrants, bring down empires, and reveal. All that the oppressors wish to conceal, humanity. I stand dispossessed of everything but my words. They are words of truth, of fire and steel. I use them deliberately, not to incite hatred, not to frighten, but to lighten up this darkness that tore me into eleven million pieces and scattered me across the earth. Words. Tell my story, Nakba, Naksa, forced exile, ethnic cleansing, apartheid. Words carefully chosen, purposely uttered. These are the words that lay the foundation of the language of my liberation.